Uh, well, that's an interesting story, I suppose. I was um, in college. Uh, I went through a few different engineering majors. I started as a mechanical engineer major, decided the physics was too much for me, switched to electrical engineering uh, as a major. And while I was taking that, I also took a statics course, kind of discovered that I hated electrical and liked statics. So I went into civil engineering. That's where I stuck my last semester as a civil engineering major. I took a remediation engineering course and uh, really, really fell for that uh, material. Went to my professor that was teaching that remediation course and told him that I would um, be interested in pursuing that. And there was a company that was it, like local to Tallahassee that I told him I was interested in and he laughed, said, you don't wanna go there. Um, if you wanna go anywhere, it's here. And he wrote down Geosyntech on a post-it note, handed it to me in his office. And he said, you know, be warned uh, if you don't have prior work experience in the field uh, of engineering or if you don't have uh, an advanced degree, it may be tough to get a job there, um, but that's where you wanna try to pursue. And I think it was a week, maybe two weeks later, the Geosyntech Boca Raton office, uh, there was a Florida State grad there that sent a blast email to our civil department saying, hey, we need, we need somebody to, you know, please, please apply and we need somebody to start soon. I did, interviewed at Boca and got a job there. So like, it all happened very fast, very quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, I linked up through a professor recommending it and a Florida State student in Boca, who now still works with Geosyntech, um, sending that blast email. Everything kind of came together at once.